Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, perform restriction enzyme analysis on your plasmid gene, uh, on your plasmid sequence. So uh, first let's open this uh, PUC8 plasmid molecule. Uh, after you open it, uh, again the asterisk will show up so you can save this molecule first. Just click stop. Okay, and then you give it a uh, name, same name, POC. Okay, so after save it, um, then you, you will go to the graphic panel, you will see there's so many restriction signs showing, um, but some of these are not uh, useful with not using them. All right, so um, let's see how to uh, select a specific restriction enzyme that we are interested in. Okay, so uh, we're going to focus in the polylinker region, okay? Because those restriction enzymes within the polylinker region should be specific to this region, which means there's only one cutting site within the polylinker region. All right, so these are the ones going to be useful for cloning process. Okay, so first let's choose, go to uh, this a PUC map. You see these are the uh, restriction site. Okay, so let's choose uh, most of them. Let's say HING D3, PST1. Okay, and uh, I'm going to come back to this slide. Okay, so with this restriction N9 in mind, so first of all, you are in the graphic panel, right click, uh, edit sequence. Okay, so now uh, this in the pop-up window, you click first restriction enzyme tab, and there are two restriction enzyme tab. Okay, but we right now we click the first one first, right? And in this first tab, you allow you to define what is the group of enzyme that you want to use. Okay, so we will choose the list of enzymes from this uh, all the enzymes available. Okay, if you remember the ones in the previous night, um, PST1 is one of them. Let me for PST1. Okay, PST1. After you highlight it, you you click Add, so you go to this current enzyme group. Okay, now next one, for example, BAMH1. BAMH1. Okay, same thing. You. And next one, HING D3, HING D3, okay, another one, EQUA1, EQUA1, okay, scroll by EQUA1, okay, uh, let me check the list again. PST Hindi Bamach one equal oh there's two more oh that saw one and small one okay. saw one S A okay saw one and s small one they all these are restriction enzymes are coming from different bacteria okay that's why they are named in a such a way. So now these are the uh, list of bacteria, list of the restriction enzymes within the polylinker region that I want to use. So I'm going to add this one as a new group. Okay. And after, and then I give it a name. For example, this is uh, uh, PU, PUC8 group. Or you can just name uh, individual one. Give it a acronym for use the acronym of each of the enzymes so that help you to find it very quickly. Okay, so maybe I put it B, I just put maybe just BAM and ECO and HIN and PST and SO and SMART. Okay. So whatever name that is convenient for you. So after that, you just click OK, and you will be saved. Okay, you will see 
this is a group of enzymes and that is it's going to be useful so if you click all everything will show up if you click only this newly created one only this available okay so after that after you save this okay then you click a second restriction enzyme tab okay then you choose use enzyme setting okay check this box then it will allow you to choose different enzyme groups all right so oh don't have yet so maybe i need to save and close okay save this then you try again reopen okay do the same thing and now you show okay you choose a group then you click OK. Right? So now in this display panel, only this list of restrained enzymes you have chosen will show up. Okay? Mm, again, after any modification, you need to do save. Okay? Just control S. Okay? Uh, so we did not change the sequence, just add feature so we can override the original file. Okay, so let's go back to the sequence panel. You can see within this polylinker region, right? So these are the restriction sites. And for example, HINDI3. So HINDI3 is the enzyme. We we'll recognize this sequence from here. Okay, six base pair sequence. And uh, recognition sequence is AAGCTT. Okay, and so on. So this um, pointy arrow means the cutting site is here, which means the enzyme will cut one cut here and second cutting site on the complementary strand at this position. Okay, that's all for today's demonstration. Pause it.